Hi, it's Katrina. From the fluffiest, cutest moth ever to the world's rarest ape, here are 10 of the most amazing recently discovered animals. Number 10. Venezuelan Poodle Moth Discovered in 2009 in Venezuela's Canaima National Park, the poodle moth is a possible new insect species resembling a bizarre cross between a moth and a poodle. Love this combo! Zoologist Dr. Arthur Anker of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, who discovered the strange bug, snapped photos of the creature that subsequently went viral online in 2012. The expert, along with a colleague, speculated that the never-before-seen insect, which measures about an inch long, belongs to the Artaceae genus. Meanwhile, many people have confused the poodle moth with other furry species, including the domestic silk moth. Dr. Anker allegedly took 75 pictures total of the Venezuelan poodle moth and originally posted them all on Flickr, yet only a handful of the images are available online today. Between this and the noticeable lack of information available about the creature, some people have concluded that the poodle moth may be the product of an internet hoax. It's just too darn fluffy! However, the possibility of the new species is not an unrealistic prospect and certainly has not been ruled out. Hopefully, someone else in Venezuela can get us some more info on the elusive poodle moth. Number 9. Itty Bitty Frogs Seven newly discovered frogs, including four that rank among the world's smallest known species, made headlines in early 2017. Discovered in India's Western Ghats region, a biodiversity hotspot, the frogs all belong to the nocturnal Nyctibatrachis genus, hence their nickname of night frogs. This ancient lineage dates back between 70 and 80 million years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. Lead study author S.D. Bijou, who has helped discover over 80 new amphibian species throughout his career, told Seeker four out of seven newly discovered species are miniature-sized and have insect-like calls. Their calls resemble those of crickets and katydids, which are quite common in the habitats where these new frogs were discovered. We don't really know the advantages that a frog could possibly be getting by sounding like an insect. Probably it helps to avoid predators, but this needs to be studied. Besides having a strange call, these four species, I'll try to say their names right, the Sabari Mala, Vijayans, Manilar, and Robin Moore's night frogs are all small enough to fit on someone's fingernail. They're teeny weeny. These factors, along with the species' nocturnal lifestyle, likely explain why the frogs went unnoticed until relatively recently. Tiny creatures such as these frogs are evidence that bigger isn't always better in the animal kingdom. Being miniature provides numerous evolutionary advantages, including opportunities to occupy new environments and habitats and to exploit alternative food sources. Being tiny also requires smaller space, obviously, so you can live off less and avoid predators. These frogs are beneficial for farmers because they eat crop-damaging insects, and they help balance the ecosystem by serving as prey for larger animals such as birds and snakes. Number 8. White-Cheeked Macaque Scientists confirmed the white-cheeked macaque as a distinct species in 2015 through DNA analysis, after it was originally discovered by birdwatchers and researchers. The species is endemic to a politically volatile region claimed by China, Taiwan, and India called Arunachal Pradesh. A Chinese research team captured footage of a group of white-cheeked macaques using camera traps in four gorges throughout Tibet. The team spent months analyzing over 700 camera trap images and observing the species before alleging that they were certain they had found a new monkey species. A group of them surprised birdwatchers days after the research team had published their findings of the animal. Hailed as one of the most important zoological discoveries of the decade, further scientific testing verified that the researchers were indeed onto something with their suspicions that they had found a previously unheard of primate. The white-cheeked macaque's range is only known to include Medog County, the direct area in which it was discovered. Males are noticeably larger than females, weighing anywhere from 11 to nearly 40 pounds, and at first glance, these creatures don't look much different from certain other macaque species, including the Assam macaque, their look-alike cousin. But it's their distinctively dark and hairy genitalia that first stood out to experts, as it resembles the undercarriage of no other known macaques. Well, that's one way of discovering it's a new species. Number 7. Tosanoides aphrodite in 2018, researchers from the California Academy of Sciences were diving off the remote Brazilian archipelago of St. Paul's Rocks when they happened upon a vivid pink and yellow striped fish, 
400 feet beneath the water's surface. Found nowhere else on Earth, the captivating newly discovered species lives in rocky reef crevices, where its beauty apparently went unnoticed until recently. This is one of the most beautiful fishes I've ever seen, Dr. Luis Rocha, Academy's curator of fishes, said, adding, it was so enchanting it made us ignore everything around it. This is true. As the divers gazed at the never-before-seen neon creature, they didn't even notice that a massive shark was hovering over them. Due to its enchanting qualities, the new species was named Tosanoides Aphrodite, after the Greek goddess of love and beauty. It lives in the ocean's twilight zone that lies just beyond the sunlight's reach. And, as the team later discovered following a DNA analysis, it is the first known Atlantic-dwelling species from its genus. T. Aphrodite is one of many species endemic to the area around St. Paul's Rocks due to the archipelago's isolated location 600 miles off the Brazilian coast. Number 6. Supergiant Stick Bug At over a foot long and measuring as much as 21 inches with its front legs outstretched, Phrygianistria heusi yentuensis is an extremely large new species of stick bug that was first described in late 2014. Discovered in Vietnam by researchers from the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences, it's the second largest insect ever described. Stick insects are difficult to study for numerous reasons, including, for one, their spectacular camouflaging abilities, which enable them to blend in seamlessly with twigs and branches. Plus, they're nocturnal creatures, and even when they're most active, they move slowly, often passing for swaying branches. Experts often discover walking stick species using a method called beating, which isn't as terrible as it sounds. Beating involves placing a sheet on the ground and hitting a nearby bush with a stick, causing stick bugs to loosen their grip, fall to the ground, ideally onto the sheet, and play dead. But as Gwen Pearson reported in Wired, this supersized new species was spotted in a bush. These plant-eating insects display sexual dimorphism, with females being up to twice as large as males. The species was discovered as part of an effort to sort out any past confusion with old, preserved walking stick specimens due to a tendency for scientists of the past to automatically label insects as new species without considering traits like sexual dimorphism. The more you know. Number 5. Olinguito Discovering a new mammal is very hard. Only about a dozen new mammal species are discovered annually, and in 2013, Smithsonian scientists discovered the first new carnivorous mammalian species in the Americas in 35 years, the Olinguito. At first glance, this two-pound creature is adorable, resembling somewhat of a cross between a house cat and a teddy bear. But it's actually related to raccoons and kinkajous. The Olinguito is endemic to the cloud forests of Ecuador and Colombia, and as the newest species in the order Carnivora, it constitutes an incredibly rare discovery. Scientists encountered the creature as part of their mission to comprehensively study Olingos, which are related to the Olinguito. DNA testing of nearly all the world's Olingo Museum specimens led the researchers to realize that the Olinguito was the victim of a mistaken identity, and had been labeled as its relative numerous times throughout history. There were also visual clues suggesting that the scientists were dealing with an unidentified species, including the Olinguito's smaller and differently shaped skull and teeth. Its body size is also smaller, and its coat is denser. Records detailed that the falsely labeled specimens came from high in the Andes, at elevations between 5,000 and 9,000 feet, much higher than the Olingo is known to dwell. Once Christopher Helgen, curator of mammals at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History, and his team realized that the 20th century samples consisted of a previously unidentified species, they set out to see if the Olinguito still exists. They witnessed the animal firsthand, also learning that it eats fruit, births one baby at a time, spends almost all its time in the trees, and is mostly nocturnal. Number 4. Flapjack Octopus Researchers have known about the existence of flapjack octopuses since 1990, and they're often caught as bycatch in trawler nets, but scientists know very little about the creature which lives on the sea floor. They're among 14 species of umbrella octopuses, or pancake devilfishes, belonging to the Opistotiothis genus, and are called flapjack octopuses due to the flattened appearance they share with most of their relatives. Since they are kind of rare, every time one is found, it kind of stands out. This bizarre, dark red deep sea dweller typically measures around 7.9 inches across the mantle and has a gelatinous body, fins that resemble floppy ears, and eight legs, of course, since it's an octopus. It's been spotted off the Japanese coast between 1,740 and 1,840 feet below the ocean surface, as well as off Eureka Bar, California, at a depth of 1,150 feet. 
Flapjack octopuses have a strangely cute and seemingly harmless blob-like appearance, but they are predators at the end of the day, feasting on small crustaceans and creatures called polycaidae worms. Although these creatures are not well known in the scientific world, they have made numerous appearances in pop culture, including as the character Pearl from the Disney Pixar movie Finding Nemo. Number 3. Central African Slender Snouted Crocodile In 2018, scientists described the first new crocodile species in over 80 years, the Central African Slender Snouted Crocodile, found throughout a broad region of Africa from Cameroon to Tanzania. Discovered hiding in plain sight, the species and its West African counterpart were long thought to be one and the same. Upon learning that there are two distinct slender snouted crocodile species, researchers also realized that the West African species occurs in numbers far lower than originally thought, making it critically endangered. Well, it's actually kind of surprising it's still around. There are an estimated 500 of them left, according to lead study author and Florida International University researcher Matt Shirley, who spoke with National Geographic about the animal. The newly discovered Central African slender snouted crocodile is softer and smoother in appearance than its relative, and also lacks the bony crests on its skull that its cousin has. A study of the two species reveals that their genetics diverged over 8 million years ago, when a series of emerging volcanoes separated the crocodile population in what is now Cameroon, causing them to genetically evolve independently from one another. The two populations have not mixed since then. In the case of the West and Central African Spencer snouted crocodiles, being identified as two separate species isn't just interesting, it will likely help spur much needed conservation efforts to protect these creatures from extinction. Number 2. Tapanuli Orangutan Discovered in 2017, the Tapanuli Orangutan is the world's rarest ape. The single population of 800 or so members is only found in a high elevation forest called Batang Toru on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Scientists studied the Tapanuli orangutan for quite some time before officially identifying it as a distinct species. They long assumed that they were observing Sumatran orangutans, only to realize through the genome sequencing of numerous specimens that Sumatran, Bornean, and Tapanuli orangutans evolved as three separate lineages with the oldest lineage belonging to the most recently discovered species. For millions of years, the three groups evolved mostly separately from one another, only occasionally interbreeding. Oddly, the Tapanuli orangutan is more closely related to species from other parts of Indonesia than those living on the same island. This is possibly due to the effortless migration of orangutan populations from one landmass to another during past ice ages. The Tapanuli orangutan is highly threatened by human activities, particularly those leading to habitat loss. Many overlooked species are endangered, mammologist Chris Helgen told National Geographic. It is urgent and crucial to accurately document them and give them scientific names, so they can be recognized as distinctive, studied in greater depth, and protected from extinction. Number 1. Hognose Rat Modern science was unaware of the hognosed rat's existence until 2013, when it was discovered twice in one day on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, the only place on Earth where it is found. A team of researchers found the big-eared rodent in a remote, mountainous region, and later determined that it constitutes both a new genus and species. The hognosed rat possesses features not seen in other rodents, such as long hind legs and a large, flat pink nose with forward-facing nostrils, hence the creature's name. Additionally, it has extremely long incisors, even for a shrew rat. It also lacks something called the coronoid process, a jaw muscle attachment point that most mammals possess. The hognosed rat doesn't just look different from other rodents, it's genetically unlike other species as well. These creatures have weak jaws given the absence of the coronoid process. They feast mainly on earthworms and beetle larvae, you know, foods that are easy to chew. As fascinating as the discovery of this new species is, it's not entirely surprising. Sulawesi is home to extremely challenging terrain, and for this reason, it's been little studied since the early 20th century. The hognosed rat, for example, was discovered at an elevation of around 5,250 feet in an area that receives near-constant rain and which requires a two-day hike from the nearest village to reach. It's just one of several rodents discovered on Sulawesi in recent years, including the few-toothed shrew rat, which was described in 2012, and the Sulawesi water rat, which scientists described in 2014. Thanks for watching! Which animal was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!